Hello students welcome to my channel. Today I'd be happy to explain the shoot system. In this lecture I will explain What is shoot system? Importance of shoot system Internal structure of stem and At the end Internal structure of leaf So first of all I will explain about shoot system. What is shoot system? The shoot system of a plant refers to the parts of the plant that are above the ground. It includes everything we can see when we look at a plant, like stems, leaves, flowers, and sometimes even the fruits. You can see here the image of shoot system plant label with stems, leaves, flowers, and fruits. Well, underground part is the root system. Importance of shoot system. Important in helping the plant get sunlight for photosynthesis, making food. Support to stand upright. And reproduction by producing flowers and fruits. Now I will explain about stem and internal structure of stem. A stem as a plant's backbone. It's like the stem holds the plant up and helps it grow tall. Its internal structure include 1. Dot epidermis 2. Dot cortex 3. Vascular bundles, xylem and phloem 4. Cambium 5. Pith Internal structure of stem include 1. Epidermis. It is like the skin of the stem. It protects the inside parts. You can see the T slash S section of stem and its parts in detail. 2. Cortex. Just under the epidermis. It's like the stem storage area. It stores food and water that the plant needs. You can see the layer of cortex in diagram shown here. 3. Dot vascular bundles These are like the plant's blood vessels. They help transport water, nutrients, and food from one part of the plant to another. There are two types of vascular bundles. Xylem these vessels transport water and minerals from the roots up to the rest of the plant. Phloem, these vessels transport food, sugars, made in the leaves down to the other parts of the plant. You can see the vascular bundle in diagram shown here. 4. Cambium It is stem's growth center. It helps the stem grow thicker over time by making new cells. 5. Pith This is the center of the stem. It helps support the stem. You can see the cambium and pith shown here. Conclusion about stem So, the stem is like a bunch of different layers and parts all working together to help the plant grow stay strong, and be healthy. Remember, plants are amazing and have different parts that work like a team to keep them alive and growing. Now at the end I will explain about leaf and internal structure of leaf, transverse section, T slash S. Leaf A leaf is like a plant's solar panel. Function captures sunlight and uses it to make food through a process called photosynthesis. Here is the figure of showing different parts of leaf. Main parts of internal structure of leaf include 1. Dot epidermis 2. Dot cuticle 3. Dot stomata 4. Dot mesophyll, palisade layer and spongy layer 5. Dot veins, xylem and phloem Now I will explain internal structure of leaf and its parts one by one and function one by one. 
1. Dot epidermis Outer layer, called the epidermis Function, protection, the inside of the leaf 2. Cuticle Thin, waxy layer on the epidermis Function, it helps prevent water from escaping the leaf and keeps the leaf from drying out 3. Stomata Tiny openings on the underside of the leaf. They look like small mouths. Function, stomata allow the leaf to take in carbon dioxide from the air, which is needed for photosynthesis, and release oxygen and water vapor. Here is figure shown the internal structure of leaf, transverse section. 4. Mesophyll Leaf's main working area where photosynthesis happens. It has two layers. Palisade layer. This layer is right under the upper epidermis. Contains lots of chloroplasts. Tiny factories that use sunlight to make food for the plant. 2. Spongy layer. Below the palisade layer. There's the spongy layer. It has air spaces between its cells that help with gas exchange, taking in carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen. 5. Veins Veins like the leaf's transportation system. They're similar to the veins in your body. But they carry water and nutrients instead of blood. Veins are made up of xylem and phloem vessels. Xylem, these vessels carry water and minerals from the roots up to the rest of the leaf. Phloem, these vessels transport the food, sugars, made in the leaf to other parts of the plant that need it. So, a leaf is made up of different layers that work together to help the plant. Capture sunlight, make food, and exchange gases with the air. It's like a mini factory inside the plant. If you like this lecture, like it and subscribe my channel for watching more videos. Thanks so much. Bye.